like to welcome you to our training portal. So what does that mean to you, the end user? Our online courses provide easy access. With e-learning, you get to choose when and where you learn. As long as you have internet access, you can log on at any time. E-learning gives you freedom to explore. Let's face it, learning how to use a software requires that you actually use the software. Our simulated environment allows you to use software without accessing your live environment. Our online courses are designed to improve retention. We have provided a very hands-on learning approach that uses the scenario-based learning techniques that will help students remember the content. A SIGRA online training allows for personalized learning. We understand that learners want control. The Asigra e-learning modules allow you to offer complete control to the learners. Each course is broken down into more digestible sections. Modules consist of information pertaining to one topic. The modules are further broken down into individual lessons. To ensure that the participant has understood the lessons, we examine their knowledge with online quizzes. Here you can see the four modules that make up the end user working with Cloud Backup course. Each module concentrates on a topic relating to important features of the DS client. The modules are further broken down into lessons. Let's look at module three as an example. As you can see, the module has been broken down into seven lessons. Each one deals with a specific topic relating to different backup set types and other elements of the backup and restore process. Each module contains a quiz that tests the learner's knowledge of the subject matter. To successfully complete the course, all quizzes must be taken and passed with a grade of at least 70%. Our end-user courses employ proven multi-sensory learning methods including audio, visual, and analytical content to help ensure the success of every student, regardless of learning style. Hello, my name is Brad, and I'll be your online coach in this course. This is Brad. He appears in lessons to point out important information and makes you aware of best practices. To ensure that the student always knows where to apply the knowledge, we always provide access to images of where the process or information will apply. Here we see a student using our simulated environment. In the beginning of the simulation, the student is given a task and asked to perform it by clicking the appropriate areas of the software. As you probably know, information that is either read or dictated to you can be easily forgotten. So each lesson provides real life scenarios where the student is asked what they would do in a particular situation. Once a selection is made, feedback is given so the learner is given an explanation as to why certain answers are correct or incorrect. Now that you have seen how the course is designed, let's move on to the online training portal. Once a student has been assigned a username and password, they can log into their profile and be taken directly to the training section where the training modules are accessible. Course supervisor details are also available from here. The learning events section lists all of the assigned modules. To access the lessons belonging to this module, simply click on the hyperlink. As you can see, this module has four lessons. To launch Lesson 1, click on the hyperlink and navigate through the lesson. Note that the module quiz link is unavailable. The module can only be accessed after each lesson has been completed. Students can view their completion progress percentage completed through each lesson and the lesson saves at the last opened place. The My Learning tab also allows the changing of student information, viewing their current registration information, and also access to transcripts. When the 30-day training license expires, the end user will no longer have access to the modules. To start learning or for further information, contact your service provider today.